Call out the instigators because there's something in the air. We gotta get it together sooner or later because the revolution's here. Let's talk about it. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of the Apple TV Plus original movie, The Instigators. This is a film directed by, of course, Doug Lyman. All right, so with his second film of 2024, Doug Lyman brings a movie that is very similar in tone to a lot of films that he has been known to do in the past, whether it be The Born Identity or Live, Die, Repeat. It's a action film with two snarky individuals who go on a, a situational problem that causes them strife and they have to find themselves the way to get out of it. Now, with that said, this movie stars, of course, Casey Affleck and Matt Damon. They are two bank robbers who get into a whole heap of trouble when they basically rob a mayor played by Ron Perlman. And with the help of a, the, the psychiatrist of Matt Damon, who's played by Hong Chao, uh, they have to find themselves a way out of this scenario. But once again, it is very difficult. You have people like Paul Walter Hauser, Michael Stuhlberg, Ving Rhames, uh, Alfred Molina, Toby Jones. It's a whole cavalcade of individual actors that are very famous and well known. And it's uh, Apple TV's play for a fun romp of an action film. That's what they're hoping for. So as you can tell, this is a movie that I'm sure Apple TV Plus put a lot of money into, <laughs> to be fairly honest, between how much they probably had to pay the director, they had to pay the actors. I mean, we're talking about, once again, people that are huge A-list actors who have been around for a while, who have done a lot of work that has been very, very successful. So doing a movie like this, I'm sure, wasn't a big gamble, but because Apple TV Plus is kind of how they are positioned in the streaming markets, they need a film like this to succeed or they need a film like this to garner a status. I mean, they already have some great stuff on their platform, but a movie like this with Matt Damon and Ken Casey Affleck and, you know, Hong Chow and Michael Stuhlberg, Paul Walter Hauser, all these people, they garner a credit status that will hopefully gain subscribers and stuff like that. So it makes a lot of sense that Apple TV would want a, a movie like this. But the weird thing about this is, unlike Roadhouse, Doug Lyman's been pretty quiet about the fact that this isn't coming to theaters. It's going to have a very limited, limited release of maybe a few hundred, maybe like a hundred theaters or whatever, but it's not going to be like a huge movie. They're more depending on this being a streaming movie because, you know, with what happened with Roadhouse and how Doug Lyman was so vocal about that, I'm surprised he's not here, not vocal about the fact this isn't releasing in theaters. So that's one thing. Um, but this movie looked like a lot of fun. You know, it has a lot of people I really like and it feels like a movie that has great chemistry and great action. And so I was really looking forward to this. Thank you, Apple, you know, of course, for sending this for review. And so for my honest review of this movie, my honest opinion, opinion um this is very much a doug lyman film what i mean by that is doug lyman is very proficient and very good at staging action he's very good at staging characters he's just an overall well-rounded action director that knows exactly where things are supposed to be placed how they're supposed to be located where shots need to be he's very proficient at doing that and this is just another movie that is in his wheelhouse. It's not what I would call the greatest movie in the world, but I had so much fun and I was enjoying it so much that I just kind of went on board with it. You know, the the back and forth, the chemistry that Matt Damon and Casey Affleck kind of have because of the chemistry that Matt Damon and, of course, Ben Affleck had is there in space. The supporting cast is a lot of fun. You know, there's not much of Paul Walter Hauser. There's not much of Ving Rhames. There's not much of, you know, of Alfred Molina and, of course, Michael Stuhlberg. But they bring just enough there that you kind of are on board with their characters. And they're goofy and they're over the top and silly. But they're also, you know, have a potential purpose. You know, Ron Perlman, who plays the corrupted senator, is doing what Ron Perlman does best, which is kind of grumble his way through everything, his meanness and his eyes and how he just kind of reacts and how angry he gets. But that also is a problem with the movie is there's just not enough there sometimes with these particular actors that it feels overstuffed to be fairly honest even hong chow who in the the imdb synopsis said that that they take him take her hostage and she's like the pivotal part of this movie but once again she's not she's in the movie but and she's a third build actor but once again there's portions where she's not even in the movie so i was actually thinking this movie is going to be similar to something like bandits which of course had kate blanchett billy bob thornton and bruce willis but it ends up being a little 
little more of just like how these people, these two individuals who are in this kind of crazy scenario where a bank robbery goes wrong or a robbery goes wrong and they have to find themselves out of it. So they go in and out of actors in this movie and stuff like that. Andre De Shields, who of course was in Hades Town, is in this movie verse for a very, very small moment, kind of a cameo, which is a lot of fun. You know, Jack Harlow is also in this movie as the, the third robber, and he has a very similar kind of trajectory as Angus Cloud did, and of course, Abigail. And that's kind of how this movie is. It has these two lead actors. They're being thrust around in scenarios, whether it be a car chase or whether it be a hostage situation, and they just kind of bleed in and out of these people's um, either lives or the world that they represent. And that's not necessarily a problem. It just you have to be aware that when you see Paul Walter Hauser, he may only be in the movie for five minutes, but when he's in there for that five minutes, it, it sticks around. It's a lot of fun to watch it, it adds to the entertainment value of what this movie is. And I think that's in the end, what this movie it kind of is. It's a movie that is, you know, probably caught, like I said, costs a lot of money. It's a movie that was attempting to be a fun action film and that's all it needs to be. That's all it is. It's not an Oscar worthy play. It's just a summer action film that is on Apple TV plus to help garner subscriptions. That's all it's trying to do. And with that said, I think it's successful at least for that reason. You know, the car chase sequence in this movie is very similar to the car chase sequence in Born Identity. It's very much very similar to the car chase sequence in, you know, Live, Die, Repeat. It's very much similar to the chase sequence in Jumper and Chaos Walking and, you know, Go and so on and so forth. He's just... It's a Doug Lyman film. It is. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. It looks like a Doug Lyman film. It's shot like a Doug Lyman film. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just he has a particular lane. He knows how to use that lane very, very well. And I think he does a pretty decent job here. Once again, I don't think the story is that interesting. You know, you have one guy who's played by Matt Damon who is there to get because he needs money for his kid, the specific amount of money. The other character is just kind of there for the job because of situations or whatever. And... It just brings them two together, lets them have fun, and in the end, that's kind of what the instigators are. It's just nothing more than that. You know, it's a, the, the takedown of an eventual corrupted co or corrupted individual. You know, it has great actors in it, and uh, it does what it does. That's all it needs to do, and I think that's perfectly all right. So overall, just my final thoughts. It's an entertaining movie. It's not the most creative movie in the world. It's not the most original movie in the world, but it's a fun, entertaining movie. Uh, with that said, that's pretty much where I'm going to lie on the instigators. Uh, I mean, it's a recommend if you have Apple TV plus, of course, but if you don't, I think they do like a 30 day trial off or something like that. So it's definitely worth watching for that. Uh, but yeah, that's my take on the instigators on Apple TV plus directed by Doug Lyman. So anyways, without further ado, thank you so much for watching comments below. What is your favorite Doug Lyman film? Are you looking forward to the instigators? Let me know why but otherwise if you like what you see on this channel hit the subscribe button to join movie emporium hit that notification bell at top the phone is coming next if you like this video awesome hit that like button and as always we'll see you guys on the next video peace out guys